Hey y'all, welcome back to Brews with Brenna. This is episode five already, I'm so excited. Thanks for all my new subscribers, even though it's not that many, I see growth and it makes me so happy. The hairstyle that we are doing this week is bubble braids. One of my viewers recommended it, but I was like, ah, but my hair is too short for bubble braids. But I thought, you need long hair to do like a bubble braid or whatever? I don't think so. So let's try it out. It'll be a super easy hairstyle, no hot tools. So this week's beer, I think it's called Cuss Word. It says Cuss Word right there. Oh, coffee dessert beer. My boyfriend picked this out. Just don't think of what I like, just any beer ever. Oh, that's, that's like local to Canada. I don't know, it's kind of fun when someone else picks one out. Man, it's 6.3%. Brewed in Winnipeg, and it has a fancy, you know, logo. So. But yeah, I wasn't really in the mood to film today since, man, I got drunk with my boyfriend last night. What do you want from me? Yeah, it was just a good time. I had an app and I pulled through. This one I haven't tried before. It is brewed by Vessel Beer at Nonsuch Brewing in Winnipeg. I know Nonsuch is dope and I think they brew a lot of like smaller companies beer for them. Let's crack this sucker open. Oh my gosh, that's a cathartic sound. It does taste kind of like a Almost like a coffee chocolate pudding beer, but light. It's like a, it's a light beer. I expected a dark beer. I think it's light. It kind of looks like an ale. I noticed it has this super cool artwork, and I think they get like an artist to do it, and they pay them for every can of beer they sell, which is super dope. Make that money, artist. That's great. Great way to support artists, you know. Eric dies on. I don't know if I've had any beer from Vessel before. I don't even know if I've really heard of them before this. That's not the beer to drink when you're hungover, oh my gosh. So we're gonna basically do a bubble braid on each side of the head. Kind of like you're doing two boxer braids, but we're gonna do two bubble braids. I didn't have an inspo photo for this one, so we'll see how it turns out. The old bod is not ready for a 6.3 year man. <laughs> so I'm just gonna part my hair down the center, or as center as possible. So this is sectioned out of the way. That's a freaking look and a half right there. Oh, that's it. <laughs> so after you brushed all your hair on this side, kind of to the back, making sure there's no knots, make sure you're looking in a mirror when you're doing this. It's just gonna make it way easier on yourself. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just taking my two fingers at the base of my hair and I'm just gonna kind of run them into each other. Oh shoot, that wasn't perfect, but don't worry about it. You're all good. Okay, and then give, give it another little comb. And we're just gonna plop our first first elastic in. Oh my gosh, even like that, it looks cute. I'm getting excited. What I really, really like about this beer is that, you know, reading the flavor notes, I thought it would be a dark beer, but it's freaking a light beer, man. It's, it's pretty dang cool. Okay, second part, we're just gonna take a part a little further back. So I think I'm gonna go kind of at the top of my crown and then kind of at the top of my ear. Get this little guy out of the way and comb this. Now let's adjoin these two. Now to kind of distinguish the bubble parts, I'm just pulling the bubble part out a little. I can't see how it looks, but I'm feeling funky fresh already. So interesting as... Oh my gosh, I'm yelling outside my house going crazy. This beer's hit me already. So I'm gonna go like halfway down like that, the back of my head. And I'm gonna flip this guy out of the way, just you know, just to like brush this stuff nicely. So this is flipped out of the way. I'm gonna take my comb, comb this shit, comb that shit, girl. Now flip this sucker back and put a little, put a little elastic in there. Man, what are your guys' favorite beers? What your favorite kind of beer, go-to beer is? Mine is a sour, as we all know or fruity beers. Now pull that out. I'm kind of supporting this, so I'm not ripping. If I was just to rip like that, it'd just pull out the whole style. You want to support it, and then kind of pull this out a little, so you get that bubble effect. I feel like I should be doing my hair like this to peaches. Ooh. Okay, and I'm gonna do the last ponytail. I did a style similar to this when I was in hair school. It was kind of just one braid down the hair. I was inspired by a look that Blake Lively, Lively did. Okay, we're supporting it and we're just pulling it out a little bit again. And only pull it out a little at a time. I think I just want to put one more here and one more just at the tip. Are 
Yo, bro. I feel like I look fire. I feel like I look fire. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is good as f It says coffee, but I actually taste chocolate in there a lot, which is so yummy. Okay, homies, let's skirt skirt to the other side. If I took my parting right here on this side, I need to take it right here on this side as well. I don't know, I feel like I'm coming back to the second half with energy. Let's freaking get this popping, 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 baby. Ooh. Okay, about right here is where I took it, right at my temple. I'll just about my eyebrow. Oh, f shot. Get up already. F the boy, What are you gonna do? My boyfriend Coco and I met like actually like 12 years ago. Was it 12 years ago? No, no, no. It was in 2011, 2012. When he was single, we hung out for about two weeks, but I don't know. He didn't have that sex appeal at the time, but now this guy is fine as fuck. Like all of a sudden he had this jizzled out, jizzled out. <laughs> I don't know, he's walking around at the bonfire with no shoes on. There was just something, there was just a charge in the air and I felt it so strongly it was insane so we dated like off and on i wasn't ready to commit then when i finally committed i didn't respect him enough as a partner because i wasn't ready to be in a relationship i needed to do me after being with someone for five years i was like confused so he told me he was going to get car parts for my car and we just didn't come back i was hysterical okay pull that sucker out a little and if you pull it out, do what? So worry about it. Okay, so going directly from that, that's where I'm gonna do my part over here. Just like that. I just love Coco so much. I'm so happy now. I feel so fortunate. Damn, I can't picture myself being with anyone but a hillbilly. They're awesome and such a good time. I just talk about whatever on here, you know? And then what I do? Okay, and then you look here. Okay, even right about here-ish. A tail ale and almost like a stout hybrid. Come on, Sticky. Oh, okay. Oh, there he is. There's a Maddie. How are you? She wants to get into it. Man, I didn't expect to be like talking about Coco this whole time, but now you guys know my personal life. But whatever. It's crazy because I thought, okay, like off and on again, relationships really didn't work because we did that for about a year. Man, we can make it work. Oh, yeah, we said we're gonna fix this. Like, I could just redo it, but are you guys gonna feel like redoing it? No. So, kind of take your comb gently over it like that. And then, right when you get to that ponytail, so gently take it and then kind of pinch right there. Now, I twist it so that the bobby pin is able to hold it a little better. I'm gonna try this and I'm gonna push the bobby pin to the back. I was checking it out in the mirror and you could totally tell this one was the first side of the video because this one looks like a comparison. You can see I missed a whole piece of hair. Ah, I can't see the back, so who cares? <laughs> I think it's even enough, whatever. You know, I think to myself, oh, it's YouTube. These hairstyles gotta be like, mm, mm, popping. But whatever, that's not real. You guys wanna see real. I wanna see real, I wanna be real. You know what I mean? And I don't want you guys to get frustrated if you try this style and give up. I want you to see that I make mistakes too and you can just fix it up or redo it, whatever. This style seriously was so freaking quick and easy. I know I was yapping my face off. What do you guys think of this hairstyle? I freaking love it and I'm so glad I took my viewers' suggestion to do this style. Actually, let's bring our special guest on. Can you guess who it is? Can you pass me that chair? You come around whatever side. It's easier. Okay, so this is my boo Coco. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> So uh, he was gone to work for five weeks and he had the most ratchet hair, which I'll <laughs> post somewhere on here so you can see. But look at this sexy attribute I gave him. I think it's so hot. Sexy. So, I don't know, it's a little trash, but like, I like that. What he had before was way worse, way more disgusting. When I look at you, I'm like, I'm super into that guy. But before it was like, Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna get you to try with this beer. It's got like a chocolate leaf, chocolate note to it or something. Chocolate. What else do you think? It's 6.3, brah. There you go. Hey? So that's a good time. Got like a creamy texture, like a... That's pretty much what I was saying. Like it's almost sounds like, it kind of tastes like coffee and yeah, chocolate it's almost, pudding. It's almost like a stouty beer, but... I know. Not, not as thick. I imagine a freshly cracked would be delicious. You know, it's all piss warm. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? Come on. <laughs> yeah, I get that again. What was the price on this? This was about $5. Lots of love. Do you like my hair? Like, if you see me out, would you be like, I want to that girl? <laughs> I know, this side's a little jacked. You could totally tell it was like yeah. a little drunk. Oh. <laughs> the other side was so 
But this side, this side's, this side's dope. So is this what the YouTube channel is all, all about? I don't know, like talk about the beer, I do my hair, like what do you, I don't know, what do you want from me? So remember when you were asking me what I was talking about? And I was like, oh, I remember. I remember, but I was just embarrassed. What was it? Was about you? Me? <laughs> So if you have layers that are freaking poking out, what I did is I just moved the elastic up higher. Otherwise, the layers are gonna go like this. If you have lots of layers in your hair, I'm not gonna lie, this hairstyle might not be for you, but if you don't, you got this. Is that what a vagina looks like? Gag, mine. <laughs> right? Like it has lips. And it's bloody. And it's bloody, it's like. It does look like mine. It's two legs. So I know you're all about like being super frugal. <laughs> Okay, so would you buy this beer again? Yes. You would? You'd buy it? I would not buy it again. Okay, and like I had a hard time deciding what I feel I would do because I'm a piggy bitch. But <laughs> I don't know, I think I like it. I would buy it again. I'd buy it again. I'm glad you like beer as much as I do. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like every guy likes beer that much. Have you ever met a guy who doesn't like to drink beer? It'd be weird if you didn't. Yeah. I don't know, my dad Especially doesn't drink. Time. But he doesn't well, drink because he yeah. loves it too much. <laughs> and I'm so happy I got to introduce you to my man's Coco. He's a hillbilly and I love it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but thanks for watching. If you try this beer, let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe, buddy. You gotta help me out. I'm trying to get it figured out. I talk like that when I'm drunk and like a little nervous, as you all realize. But um, I'll see you all next week. <laughs>